that is the time when ajay devgan akshay kumar sunil yeah. shetty all of them got a break the action heroes mm. came in because there was this void like mm. there is a huge void here now looking for new talent of course everywhere i go there's tremendous amount of love mm. that i get it's unbelievable you know even my kids say baba it's unbelievable why did you just get out i said i get, got out probably because i make i made mistakes you know mm. uh I had an audience but they weren't willing to pay for trash that I was giving them. Anything that Sunil uh, Shetty did without action mm. never sold. Mm. You know, because distributors used to go yeah. to buy the films. So every time they saw the rushes they'd say, you know what? Do action dal do. Aur ek shirt button khol ke barish ka iska ek gana kar do. Mm. But if it was today's time and Arzu would have uh, got shelved could you imagine the backlash yeah. that an actor would have got oh his first film shell he must have been bad social media twitter instagram uh, facebook going nuts about oh this guy looks like he can't act or have been destroyed it's but got affected by the news me and akshay i did speak about me being hurt about something but hmm. that uh, w- uh, was a misunderstanding that was very yeah. easily cleared the, the minute you met you hmm. uh, i wanted to get married hmm. uh, you know i wanted to settle down and yeah. to have babies uh live a happy life Sunil Shetty a name that needs no introduction this year he completed 30 years in the film industry and in these three de- decades he has forged a path that has been inspiring and an example for many to come and uh, today I feel like it's an honor for me sitting with him and to be able to have a conversation on Memories 101 and uh, people who love him call him Anna and I think uh, today the whole India kind of constitutes that fan base. So firstly Sunil sir welcome to Bollywood Bubble. Thank you so much. So firstly I have to say it's actually an honor to be sitting right next to you like you have been the person I have admired the kind of parts you have taken the kind of decisions you have taken all through your career and they show the kind of person you are and how courageous you are first thank you thank you and, so much uh, and now that you are making your web debut like it's so exciting to see you in this new avatar because thalaiva kind of uh, suits to your personality but also it pr- brings a new side of you absolutely so firstly what was the excitement level and what was the kind of prep level for you to kind of get into this zone because the accent that you have put up now it's so kind of convincing and it's so amazing to see so firstly how what all went behind the live you know i think first of all i should thank uh, mx and z for giving me this opportunity believing that sunil chatty can be thalaiva and and more so because you know after such a long gap people tend to forget uh, but uh, they came up with the script uh, ashima from z came to me and uh, with sarthak and, and presented me the synopsis mm-hmm. and i said wow Uh, and someone on the line I had a question mark that will they give me Gavaskar's role or Thalaiva's role so the first thing I asked was if you're asking me to play Gavaskar I'm not interested mm. uh, because I've done cops roles and uniforms to death and I wanted to do something yeah. different Thalaiva yeah. excited me because it was it was he he was a good guy and he's a bad guy mm. he's for his family it means the world to him mm. everything uh, comes secondary what is secondary is controlling the entire city of mumbai a man who lives in dharavi but the police can't even get close to him over 15 years it took him just to penetrate and even get a glimpse of uh, who he is and what he does so that kind of intrigued me and i said a challenge challenge again because to look like thalaiva to to create that aura that uh, that image there was a lot i needed to put into and then you got get a director like samit who comes in and says you know what let's work on something different so we added the prosthetics to it we went into the costumes i went into addiction uh, into the addiction uh, uh, had addiction uh, uh, coach send me what kind of a feel he wants but then coming from a south indian family you know i've got a lot of friends relatives even at home mom and all certain words na they pick up is is very very typical tum kidhar jata hai you know they yeah. won't say kidhar jata hai kidhar ja khoon is never khoon it's khoon usne khoon kiya you know and yeah. that that sing song edge to everything so i said let me try and do that uh, shot with samit asked him whether he th- thought it was caricature she said no it works uh, all he said was aap pehrao de do zyada and it will work so overall then 
when Thalaiva's family came in, it added, it only added to uh, Thalaiva's characters. Uh, his wife, I mean his, his sister, his sons, his daughters, his, his aides, his team. So just, just worked like magic. And I have to say ki, while I love the Thalaiva look, that uh, there's one scene in the trailer in which you're wearing that tight black shirt yeah, and yeah. you shoot the gun. That like brings so much nostalgia back to mind na, because yeah, yeah. we have seen you play those kind of roles to the perfection. Right. To see a glimpse of it again while you are doing something diff so much different is amazing to see. That's because that's Thalaiva 15 years ago. Yeah. You know? okay. yeah. Okay. That's the younger so, Thalaiva. So yeah. there is this uh, transition also yeah. and his age. I think it's you know, so he sad. comes back into the flash. So, you know, the younger Thalaiva and this Thalaiva. So when you see both of them together, you'll realize, ki, wow, there is an attempt to do something. And, and I feel like uh, you are getting younger by the day in real life as well. So that suits uh, the personality aspect as well. Uh, I want to take you a little back in time because it's your three decades in Bollywood. So it needs to be celebrated. Firstly, I was uh, reading somewhere that before Balwan, you were supposed to make your debut with uh, another project. So when it got shelved, there was a lot of anxiety around it and everything. So for you, how, firstly, how was it get, uh, that wait between Balwan and the project that got shelved and like uh, uh, dealing with the debuting in the 90s because that was a different era. See, that was the era when the video industry dominated. Mm -hmm. Came video. Movies started falling and the same period that we are seeing today is the period we saw then. Yeah. Ki video came out, we will watch the video at home, we will not go to the theatre. That was the time when Ajay Devgan, Akshay Kumar, Sunil yeah. Shetty, all of them got a break. The action heroes mm. came in because there was this void. Like mm. there is a huge void here now looking for new talent because yeah. OTT is, is looking for talent and there is the need for talent. So mm. every change that comes about brings about a drastic change from a talent perspective also. The thinking, the process of filmmaking, marketing, everything changes. I think we are on that cusp, we are on that transition uh, period. So, you know, this whole thing about, oh, khatam ho gai industry, wo kabhi ho nahi sakti. Because mm. in uh, film, jo hai, large screen, yeah. will always be large screen. I call it the bop of all entertainment. Yeah. OTT, television, hats off to everybody given place to everybody, but films are films. So that transition is the transition we, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, we are seeing uh, today. So there is, this is this is a change that has, has has happened over the period of time that that boom is over and a new boom has, uh, has started. Yeah. But for me, this is a new period in my life, mm. you know, OTT, I, I'm debuting, uh, I'm nervous, I'm scared. Uh, it's been a long time, yeah. you know. I did uh, one of Darbar and one of uh, uh, Kannada film yeah. and uh, Palwan and, and one of films. But that was more to test waters, to mm. understand and see, do I remember the craft even now? Have I forgotten it? Do, do I have an audience? Of course, everywhere I go, there's tremendous amount of love mm. that I get. It's unbelievable, you know. Even my kids say, Baba, it's unbelievable. Why yeah. did you just get out? I said, I get, got out probably because I, make, I made mistakes, you know. Mm. Uh, I had an audience, but they weren't willing to pay for trash that I was giving them. Mm. You know, and you realize that it's only when you give churn out trash that the audience says, I don't want to pay for it. Yeah. And that's why we are going through what we are, which means we need to focus on our content. Mm. We need to focus on storytelling. We need to go black, back to the drawing board. Mm. We need to uh, see that the economics work. Mm. A product can't be uh, top heavy with celebrity fee. Mm. For a hundred rupee product, you can't pay 80 rupees as fee and 20 rupees for the product itself. Which means it's lopsided, it's mm. wrong. The foundation is weak. That's why we're going wrong. Yeah. And just uh, like you said, your choices matter a lot. Yeah. Do you feel like uh, there are so many mediums and people are exploring different sides and the audience is also accepting it. Uh, do you feel like at that time during the 90s, it was kind of a little more difficult to get out of that zone that people had put you in and prove your versatility compared to Very, today? very. Oh, you hit it bang. I think that's a phenomenal question. Bang on. Anything that Sunil Shetty did without action, mm. never sold. You know, because distributors used to go yeah. to buy the film. So every time they saw the rushes, they'd say, you know what, do action dal do. Or a shirt button khol ke barish ka iska ek gana kar do. That was the demand of the yeah. distributor. Mm. You know, so the distributors had a say. Mm. The audience had a say in what they wanted to see. Yeah. And today, 
there is a complete disconnect because mm. the people who are producing it are distributing it and they are not mm. understanding what the audience wants. Mm. So when 70% of India is mass, you are giving them a subject that is in mass yeah. and not mass. So th th there, is, there is no connect. So that is what we need to understand. Mm. Uh, then the difference is now there, is, there are a lot of opportunities. Mm. To get to get an opportunity, then there was yeah. one opportunity. Yeah. You make it, break it, you're out. Uh, so when I did Arzu, uh, uh, my first film, and that got complete and got shelved. Uh, I, luckily, word of mouth about me from an action perspective was very good. Ki action karta, yeah. but action bikta na masses ko wohi chahiye the. To logo, it was brainless. Mm. Ki usko le lo. So mm. I had signed other films when I did Arzu, mm. but if it was today's time, and Arzu yeah. would have uh, got shelved. Could you imagine the backlash yeah. that an actor would have got? Oh, his first film, Shell, he must yeah. have been bad. Social media, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook, going nuts about, oh, this guy looks like he can't act. I'd have been destroyed. That yeah. time I didn't even think of it. I said, this is my training ground, let's go ahead. You know, so very different. Yeah. Uh, we, we, won't be, we weren't judged as, as much as probably we are judged today. Anything you do. Today I was being asked questions and <coughs> every answer, I had to think a hundred yeah. times. If somebody says, uh, you know, Thalaiva and, and you play a negative force, how do you see yourself at the end of it? Positive or... Now what do I say? If I say mm. positive, they say, oh, you see... that kind of... Yeah, so you know, it's, it's too judgmental, too judgmental. Yeah, uh, and most of it is done by social media. And <coughs> I feel like you belong to, you worked in a time where there was no social media, that was like a boot. Yeah, absolutely. Even today, I, I am on social media, but mm. I'm just there. I'm not yeah. proactive. I, mm. I don't go out of my way for anything. Uh, what I believe in, health, uh, wellness, nutrition, green, pets, is what I talk about, you know, mm. that, that the world would want to connect with me but not otherwise yeah and uh, you said nothing just say aaj ke time pe, uh, there are a lot of films being made yeah. the number of the quantity has increased a lot at that time the quantity wasn't as much no, when was, you started was, was. and at the same time there were three action heroes that came into limelight so at that time was it kind of difficult to kind of match up to the competition as well as when people are pitting you against each other at the same time you have to make your own path as well did it ever get difficult to kind of deal with all that scenario? No, it just happened. It happened organically. There was enough space, work uh, for everybody when we were already established. Mm. Uh, we chose our subjects, we chose mm. our producers, we chose our directors. Mm. Shows weren't as difficult to get as there are today. There are yeah. 10 films releasing, maximum one or two. Yeah. We spoke to each other and said, yeah, to next week, I'll come to this week. Ah. Jata. So we managed yeah. that. Today, it's corporates at the helm of affairs, mm. so you don't know whom you're talking to. Yeah. Uh, when you talk to the CEO, he says talk to the CEO. When you mm. talk to the CEO, he says talk to the CFO. Mm. The CFO will say, okay, let <laughs> me ask distribution. Distribution will say, let me talk to marketing. Marketing will say, yeah. you know what, let me talk to PR. So there is there, there's so much. Yeah. Uh, it, it wasn't as difficult then. But uh, few media houses uh, rule the roost. So, what they said did matter yeah. a hell of a lot. That's what I was about to mention. Right now, you can clarify things Absolutely. on your social media. Absolutely. or You can take a... There are so many mediums your to get stand. out there Absolutely. and uh, prove your stand. But at that time, what the media wrote, it was like the gospel, gospel truth. Gospel truth. Absolutely. Yeah, and people believed it and people agreed with it. So, like at that time, there was a lot written about your rivalry with Akshay. Right. Whereas, you proved with time that it was a friendship. Yeah. So, how did that kind of equation, it, did it ever get affected by the news and how did it kind of prosper? Well, it got it? affected by the news. Me and Akshay, I did speak about me being hurt about something. But hmm. that uh, was a misunderstanding that was very yeah. easily cleared the minute you met. You give, you've given 10, 15 films, hmm. blockbusters together. You've know, yeah. been a very, very successful pair. Uh, he's still uh, super successful. Yeah. I probably made a hell of a lot of mistakes and lost mm. out. But, uh, you know, uh, the focus right now is what I'm doing. Uh, yeah. The age I'm at, the kind of work that I'm getting, phenomenal mm. work. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, character driven uh, movies, character driven uh, OTTs, you know, uh, where you play principal character. Yeah. Uh, far more mature, so I sit back, understand yeah. who's producing who's directing, what is the background, how much work have they done. A lot of R&D goes into yeah. uh, you know, signing something before you do.
Yeah. And lastly, I wanted to ask you like, uh, you have seen that phase where uh, while there was a lot of speculations around, but the scrutiny wasn't as much as today people face. Yeah. So when your kids make your de- make their debut and they are put under the scanner even before that, and there are a lot of scrutiny going on about their pro- personal life, professional life, especially right now about Atiya's wedding and everything. How does it concern you as a parent? I mean, you know, they watch and learn. And yeah. so my children have learned from me and watched yeah. and taken only mm. what they want to take in. Uh, news, mm. national news, economic news, political news, uh, education news, uh, sports news mm. is what is read. Film yeah. news is, is, is the last that uh, mm. we all sit down and read. Very, very rarely mm. do we read, uh, need. Uh, mentally, we have We've disconnected from the so-called uh, media that likes to speculate mm. and uh, know what's happening in our lives. So yeah. we're in control and we speak yeah. to each other. Yeah, uh, you know, we're friends. Mm. We, we we talk. We discuss everything. Mm. But what do you uh, always wanted to say when people ask you repeatedly now about Atiya's wedding? So yeah, what that, is something you know, that you want? To say? It's a daughter. Mm. Uh, I want her to get married. Mm. Uh, you know, I want her to settle. I want her yeah. to have babies, uh, uh, live a happy life. So mm. it'll happen, but I guess timings, the mm. profession they're, they're in, mm. you know, one is playing for the country, yeah. one is doing her own thing with her work. Mm. Uh, when it happens, it'll happen. They're, they're, they're uh, a, a, a couple that wants to uh, have it really small, mm. very simple and only yeah. family, family. So finally, it's their wish and uh, yeah. as, a, as, as a parent, mm. I would only want the best for them. Yeah. And now I want to just uh, end this with a little, uh, it's like a trivia kind of a quiz, uh, which is about, uh, we call blast from the past. So I have a few questions, one word questions. Uh, So you have to tell me that relates past and the present. One fashion trend from the 90s you would love to get back today. And his back, lose oversized clothes. Oh, you know, yeah, was, I think he, I think you rocked them. Yeah, it, it was comfortable. It was yeah. super comfortable. Uh. Comfort clothing, hmm. you know. And I had add one more thing, uh, very, very strongly, because I see this generation getting carried away by th- uh, that. Let fashion, don't let fashion dictate you. Hmm. Make sure you dictate fashion. Yeah. You know, you trend stuff that you want and don't let others trend because otherwise, hmm. You're always looking, you have to buy, you yeah. have to keep. Oh, one outfit only once. Mm. I don't know who brought this logic in. Why the same pant, uh, <laughs> a pant, yeah. a pant the, the, the black shirt and pant. My, my, my cargoes, I'm wearing my cargoes yeah. all the time because it's about comfort. Mm. It's not about anything else. And one fashion trend you won't want to come back from the 90s. Extra tight uh, clothes and that also lycra. You know ah. that fabric that yeah, yeah. Uh, that fabric that stuck I to your body, it. showed your tires and yet you thought you were looking deadly mm-hmm. in them. So unless you are Hrithik Russian. <laughs> that kind <laughs> of a body it's different. Yeah. yeah. One film of yours that you think would work in today's time too. Hera Fairy. Mm. That is so like iconic. One film of yours that you think hasn't aged well. I think my Ant and Rakshak Mm. You know, cult action films. Yeah. Uh, it hasn't aged well because action has evolved so much yeah. that you feel, oh shit, you know, you could have done uh, mm. better. An actor and an actress that defines superstardom of the 90s film. Yes, SRK and actress Madhuri or Kajol. Okay. Your favorite co star of the 90s? Uh, as an actor, I'd say uh, Akshay Kumar because. Uh, we had a lot of fun together mm. and also a lot of success together. Yeah. You know, you feed of each other, mm. your performances feed of each other and uh, that's why. A song that encapsulates the 90s culture for you? My, I, I'll, I'll talk about my own songs, Janjari. Okay. And lastly, the weirdest rumor you heard about yourself during the 90s? Yeah, that I uh, got into an accident and I was no more. Oh, yeah, yeah, I read about myself, you, you were declared dead by yeah, the media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, Suril sir, I have to say, you have paved the path that uh, I said in my introduction also, and I will say it again because that is true to the T, that uh, you have paved a path that many will follow in the coming time and many are still following. Thank you, you have thank proved you. what it means to be a proper, have a proper balanced family life and a professional life. 
so thank you for that and thank you for being the person you are and can't wait to see you do more wonders can't wait to see you again in hera fairy 3 because that is the next one that i am really excited about and you have a plethora of projects coming and i can't wait to see you all in it and thank you so much for this conversation thank you lots and lots of love and love for everything you do thank you thank you sir yeah hi this is sunishati and you're watching me on bollywood bubble so please like share and subscribe